Welcome back, everyone. In the past episodes, we have emphasized on the importance of presenting your ideas logically and telling a really coherent and engaging story. Now, up until this point, we have looked at it from a macroscopic point of view. That is, we look at the whole manuscript as a big picture. Now, we're going to zoom in and look at how you could craft sentences that will help you in telling that engaging and logical story. Now, the first thing to think about is that in modern scientific writing, it's all about conciseness and getting straight to the point. Gone are the days where we yodel on and on, you know, about an idea and then putting in really flowery and verbose language. So think about it. What we want to do is that we want to keep it simple and use short sentences. Now, a general rule of thumb would be using 15 to 20 words per sentence, no more than that. And with each sentence, we would want to only present one idea because otherwise your, your audience will be lost. And as an editor myself previously, you have no idea how many sentences on, in the manuscript would be, we have to post a query. What exactly are you trying to say? Because the writer is trying to cram too many ideas into one sentence. And by doing so, you actually lose your audience. And also, in even some of the top-notch journals, they would say that they prefer simple, more direct, and easier to read sentences. And what do we mean by that? Well, it simply means use active voice. So instead of saying that the experiment was conducted, for example, we would want to say, we conducted this experiment to investigate something, something. All right, so this is the active voice that we're talking about. Put it in the first person position. And also, avoid complicated or big words that people might not understand or the general audience may not be able to grasp. For example, instead of saying, we commence to do this experiment, you can say, we begin, all right? Instead of saying, we endeavor, you can say, we try, we aim, all right? And one of, uh, two of the, the, one or two of those you know, words that um, commonly used in scientific writing would be enough, clear, or determined, which can correspond to so-called bigger words such as adequate for enough, clear, and apparent, use clear. Instead of using ascertain, say determine, right? Because most people would understand the words clear or enough or determine. And also, try to shorten your sentences. Like I said before, try to keep it within the general rule of thumb of between 15 to 20 words. So for example, you know, you can say, as a matter of fact, uh, such a, you know, adverse drug reaction. Well, whatever you report in your manuscript should be factual anyway. So phrases such as, as a matter of fact, or in reality, all these are redundant words and phrases that add no value to your writing. If anything, it actually makes it long and boring, okay? And for example, if you are talking about like uh, 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 results in your previous studies, you, you don't have to keep repeating that something, something in our previous study or in our previous study or in somebody else's study. Just say this phenomenon or these results have been described previously and then add the citation at the end. Also, avoid redundant words, especially when using um, units. For example, if you're talking about 37 degrees Celsius, you don't have to say at a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius because it's implied and it's understandable that when you're talking about degrees Celsius, you are referring to temperature, all right? Or if you're talking about grams per liter, that's actually a concentration. And um, very common mistakes that people use would be, uh, you know, uh, this you know, according to past history, well, history is always past, or according uh, our future plans, well, plans are always in the future. So history and plans, these two words can stand alone. All right, 
uh, um, some of the very very common phrase that I always come across is in order to achieve something we do something all right you don't need the two words in order just say to achieve this we did that all right and finally numbers okay so you don't have to say uh, four in number or five in number because numbers are numbers and it's implied that they are referring to numbers all right I hope that um, all these little tips will help you to write more concise and interesting sentences and in the next segment we're going to look at how you should link up one sentence to another and to another to form your text.